finally got the HX stomp. It's on sale, it uh, was on sale at Sweetwater. And with all the recent updates, this thing is better than ever. We thought we'd grab a little plug and go ahead and get one and try it out. And this thing is awesome. Came in the mail yesterday, been working on presets, setting the whole thing up. But I had some questions about recording uh, with this into Logic Pro X in stereo. And I had trouble finding some good answers online. There's all sorts of videos about recording. Some had part of the answers, some had a completely wrong info. So I decided uh, to make a little quick video, show you what I found out, how to record in stereo directly out of the HX Stomp, how you can record parallel paths separately in stereo uh, out of this, and a few other tips and tricks. Let's do this. All right, here we go. What we have here is the HX Edit opened up on the MacBook Pro. Uh, to my left, I have the HX Stomp hooked via USB directly to the MacBook. Then we also have my microphone is hooked through a PreSonus Studio 24C for the uh, audio interface. So you'll see that up on the, on the menus when we get to it. But what I have here is uh, to show you to recording in stereo, we're gonna use a ping pong delay so we can visually see the stereo effect on, on Logic. Uh, if you use, uh, there's, there's eight different outputs from the HX Stomp. So if you want to record mono, you use USP output one or input into Logic. But if you want to record stereo, this output is actually has two tracks. It has output USB one and output USB two. So you need, if you want to record stereo, stereo effects like a ping pong uh, stereo delay, you need to use output or input into Logic track one and two so let's go to logic and here we go we're gonna do audio we have our device as HX stomp our output uh, like I said before I'm going through the 24c because I'm recording uh, my microphone also but you could have just the uh, whatever your monitor is or however you want to set that up in your studio okay what we're gonna do is Scroll down here. You see here eight separate USB inputs from the Helix. Input one, input two are the stereo for the main path, main signal path. Input three, input four, you can record separately from a parallel path, and I will show you that in just a little while. Input five is your dry signal. It records your dry signal directly without any effects from the Helix. You put your drive signal through also. I always record a dry signal separately also because I also have bias effects on my computer. So I can record the dry signal at the same time and I can alter it with any kind of other effects software such as uh, bias effects or the IK multimedia or any, any, any kind of effects you want to use. You can add, add later to a separate track. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Scroll down, make one stereo track with input one and two from the HX Stomp and create. Now you can see two little bars here in that one track. So you can know we have, it shows that we have a stereo track on that one track by seeing those two separate bars. Let me hook up the... All right, now let's record the stereo. I'm just plucking one note so we can visually see it. Now, if we take a closer look at this track, we can visually see the ping pong going from left to right. Another thing we can do, let's bring up, let's say we want to make a parallel path, add another, uh, let's add another amp. Doesn't matter what, it's just for this demonstration. There we go. And we're gonna bring this down to a parallel path. What we can do is take this point, drag it down. Now we have separate outputs for our parallel path. Now this is gonna be USB three and four. This is one and two in stereo from the top path. This is three and four in stereo for the bottom path. So if we go back to logic, Wow, 
spot one and two for the main path on the top. Then we could add another audio track, input three and four. And let's go ahead and uh, if we remember, input five is our dry signal. We can record that at the same time too. Uh, let's, uh, let's record all three. Let's give it a go. Okay. Now let's look at the top one. This was our track one and two in stereo with the ping pong. This is track three and four through a different amp without the ping pong. And then this is just the, the dry signal from the guitar. One more thing we can do, if you don't wanna record, if you want it, you can record each, you can, instead of recording left and right stereo as one stereo track, you can record the left and right as completely separate tracks. Another thing we can do, and if you don't wanna record the left and right stereo as one track, you can separate the tracks. You don't have to do one and two together. You can record the left and right uh, input one and two separately. Same with the uh, parallel path. So let's bring a, let's bring logic back up. We can do input one. We can add input two. So this is the stereo left and right from the main path, but recorded as two separate mono tracks. We could also do that with three and four, but just to test it out. Now you can see the ping pong, you can see how they're a little off from the ping pong, but they're each recorded separately as a mono track. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please do us a favor and subscribe. Give us the old thumbs up. Uh, my name is Danny. My son is Micah. He is autistic. We are the positive autism. This is Autism Rocks. Uh, he has difficulty talking to people, so we make videos to give him a voice. He has difficulty uh, talking, so we record his vocals. He sings on our tracks, but we record his vocals a few words or a line at a time, piece it all together make original songs and covers. Please check out a few of our videos. If you like it, share. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support.